Mr. Upadhyay, the first poll that has come out today, C voter poll, shows a clear majority for the Congress. 120 plus, BJP 68 to 76 and the JDS 25 to 30. Do you agree? At the start of this race, history at the moment is with the Congress because every government in Karnataka in the last 25 years has gone down in the subsequent election. So you would, it, it would indicate that this could be the Congress's turn. Well, good evening, Rajdeep. Well, I think uh, you know what's happening is, as of today, I would uh, still bet on a hung assembly with Congress being ahead of uh, BJP. That looks like the scenario as of today. But, you know, we are 40 day, 42 days uh, uh, away from the elections and anything can happen. Why do and you I say, why do you say hung BJP assembly? Why do you say, why do you say, are you saying, and that's an X factor, that the JDS with its 18% vote, 30, 35 seats, could still hold the balance of power? Yes, they're still capable of holding that balance because in the old Mysore area, I think the battleground is going to be the old Mysore area where both Congress and BJP have not done well. So that is where, you know, the, uh, the uh, JDS is still very strong. You remember last time they got 37 seats. Out of the 30 came from old Mysore areas. Mm -hmm. And BJP was able to secure only 26 out of 89 seats in the old Mysore area. So unless BJP is able to improve its uh, performance in old Mysore area and Congress is able to improve its performance across the state, because con compared to 2014, they did badly in all the segments, whether it's uh, now Bombay Karnataka or Hyderabad mm -hmm. Karnataka, Central Karnataka or Coastal Karnataka, they did badly compared to the previous elections. So Congress has to improve everywhere, whereas the BJP is concentrating on old Mysore area. And if they do well, I wouldn't be surprised if either Congress or BJP emerges as a single largest party. Well, one of them has to emerge and as a single party. But you're still saying it's a hung assembly. You know, uh, Captain Karnik, the first poll, as I said, puts the Congress way ahead. And when I speak to people on the ground, that's the impression I get. As of today, the Congress has already announced its list of candidates. They've got a uh, national president, Dalit from Karnataka, Siddharamaya, who's got a strong backward class and Muslim support base. And you've got Mr. D.K. Shivkumar with his resources and his Vokaliga base. Are you, do you accept that this is one of the few elections where the BJP is playing catch-up at the moment? Even Yadurappa, whom you mentioned, you have had to pull him out of virtual semi-retirement because you know that he is still your <laughs> tallest leader. Let's be clear, Mr. Yadurappa is not... Well, till one, uh, till a few months ago, was in hibernation. Uh, Rajdeep, I uh, appreciate um, Aishwarya forgetting uh, two prominent Dalit leaders, Karge, who is the national president of their party, and uh, Parameshwara, who happens to be a person who has. Minister, uh, yeah, I mentioned about the uh, tremendous amount of development work done by the government. I forgot to mention the name of our uh, chief minister. Keeping it aside, mm -hmm. uh, well, we will we'll, we'll go to polls and uh, we are very, very certain mm -hmm. that this double engine Sarkar, which you said you will talk to um, a little later, has done tremendous amount of work. In fact, people, entire country appreciates the kind of COVID time work that we did in this state. Mm -hmm. And subsequently, in spite of all odds, the development initiative that has taken place and more than anything, the mm -hmm. Vijay Sankal Piatra in two, four different teams all over the state and the kind of world one tool taken by honorable prime minister you all have seen it on the television uh, definitely we are going to come back to power on our own strength so you're I saying you know you're, you've mentioned mr modi more than a couple of times and aishwarya there is that factor you've got mr modi 2019 lok sabha the bjp won 26 out of 28 states uh, seats and you've got rahul gandhi who's embarking on a campaign from kolar is the Congress now going to play the Rahul sympathy card or are you going to focus on local issues? Because if you make it Rahul Gandhi versus Modi, as it was in 2019 Lok Sabha, it may be advantage BJP once again. You know, Rajdeep, the event that we want to have is basically the fact that this case that was filed in the Surat court happened after a speech that was, that was made by Mr. Rahul Gandhi in Kolar. And we want to say you will come back there to speak the truth again, and that is symbolic. I do not believe that my party, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, is one of the tallest leaders um, for the Congress party. But I also think the Congress here, as much as, you know, it's absolutely a strength and a, a boost in our arm by mm -hmm. allowing... And, hello? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
when uh, Mr. Gandhi comes because he resonates with the masses in Karnataka. The Karnataka Congress has also kept it to the issues. We have spoken about, you know, just two examples. He spoke about COVID and the Vijay Sankalp Yatra. COVID where 45,000 crores was unaccounted for. Vijay Sankalp Yatra where in Mudigere, where in Madal Kipak Shappas Assembly, they wouldn't even allow the rally to happen. In some places, you saw empty chairs everywhere. Mm -hmm. The fact is the BJP is trying to save a sinking ship that is nosediving into the depths of defeat. Okay. And for us, the Congress has a positive agenda. It is not only anti-incumbency, Rajdeep. Ask anywhere on the ground whether it's the 200 free units of electricity or the 2,000 for women or the Anna Bhagya or even the unemployment scheme that the Congress has given, we have a double, a two-pronged agenda. One is mm -hmm. against the corruption which is eating into a prosperous state like Karnataka and the second is us ushering in these guarantees to ensure a brighter future okay. for